This video is sponsored by Dubby Jitterless Energy Blend. Click on the link in the description and use the code PACKERMAN to save 10% on any order. What's happening ladies and germs? This is the Packer Man and welcome to this edition of The Fuel. We're in this episode we're going to be talking about um, the 2023 Crayon 301 from the New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the NASCAR Cup Series. And as the race, uh, the name of the episode entails, I'm confused as to how this race was any good. Because you had a lot of fucking people online saying, Oh, this race wasn't boring because Truex dominated. And because there was lots of strategy and there was racing in the back, you know, even though the race with the lead wasn't any good, you know, and all this other bullshit that I keep hearing from these fucking tarred monkeys every single fucking week. All the fucking excuse making as to why this race, oh, it wasn't boring. Fuck you. Okay. I watched. Okay, I didn't get to watch the entirety of this race when it happened because I had to work. So I had to watch it on YouTube when it came out. And I tried my damnedest to pay attention to what was going on in this race. Literally nothing fucking happened. Okay, I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen. Oh yeah, like I'm going to be so fucking interested in a race for 15th position. Like, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Unless it is happening in the top 10... Or if, we're, if we see something a la Larson at North Wilkesboro, I do not give a fuck what goes on in the back. Okay? Those positions mean absolutely jack fucking nothing to me. Alright? Let's just get that out of the way right now. If it's not happening in the top ten, I don't give a fuck. And... Literally, that's all I have to say about this race. Like, all you have to know is Martin Truex Jr. dominated. And this time, actually gets the job done and wins the race. And his win at New Hampshire was a long time coming. He's been wanting to get a win at New Hampshire for so fucking long. And he finally has it. So, congratulations to uh, MTJ on finally getting your New Hampshire win. Of course, there's been a lot of talk about whether or not he's going to retire at the end of this year he says he doesn't know yet so there's a lot of speculation surrounding that i mean he's still at the top of his fucking game i mean i say well he missed the playoffs last, last year yeah because this playoff format is fucking stupid like it is literally probably the worst idea that nascar has ever come up with and it needs to be abolished a s a fucking p because without that stupid fucking playoff format truex was fourth in points going into the playoff last year this format is fucking stupid. Anyway, there were 13 overall lead changes, two pure lead changes, six cautions, 3,100 green flag passes, and of course, Truex led the most laps. I mean, he pretty much dominated. It was the most dominant performance by any driver since Jeff Burton in 2000 when he led every single lap. Which, to my knowledge, I think is the last time that a driver led wire to wire in a cup race of course that was back when they had restrictor plates on the cars believe it or not because um, there had been two fatal accidents that year uh, due to stuck throttles you know when sport lost Adam Petty and Kenny Irwin Jr. to basically stuck throttles and they went head on into the wall and did not survive so yeah, a little bit of a history lesson right there. But yeah, this race fucking sucked. I mean, if you enjoyed it, more power to you. But I did not see anything even resembling a good race coming out of this. And again, this is my fucking opinion. And if you don't like it, tough shit. This is my show. I'll say whatever the fuck I want on it. And that's all I got to say about that. My final rating for this race is a 2 out of 10. Both New Hampshire races got to because they both fucking sucked. So deal with it. That's it for this review. Moving on to the next one. See ya.
What's happening ladies and germs? Thank you for watching tonight's video. If you're interested in sponsoring the channel, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description box below. Otherwise, hit like and subscribe if you want to continue watching great content like you saw today. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is the Packer Man, signing out.